Hey everyone, uh, today's assignment on quad construction. You're going to have to do some various things, create some various quadrangles or quadrilaterals um, with a little bit of a twist though. Like a number one, you have to create a trapezoid. Hopefully you remember what your trapezoids are. Always refer back to your hierarchy sheet. It talks about all of your shapes and all their characteristics if you get lost. But with this trapezoid, they want you to have it so that it has at least one right angle in this trapezoid. And it's talking about specific lengths. Now if you can get that, that's fantastic. If you can draw a trapezoid or one or two, that's just as good. So don't worry so much about the lengths, but if you have a ruler, give it a whirl. Number two, a parallelogram, which we know is a quadrilateral quadrilateral two pairs of parallel sides that's not a rectangle and it has an area of 18 square units so that's referring back to your area so parallelogram not a rectangle we know that our parallelograms ones we see in books most often when you look up the word parallelogram it's going to be shaped similar to this and to figure out the area, we have to do base times height. But we know that our base is this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven square units. And our height is one, two, three high. Now, you can find the area of any, now this isn't a perfectly drawn parallelogram, but find the area of all regular shapes like our square one two three four five six seven eight nine and then piece together the other shapes to make squares one two three four that should be five six seven and then on this side let's draw not too badly we can combine these two to make another one and then we have a half yet over here. And then we look to combine all the other pieces to make even squares. And that'll get your total area. But that's one way to do it. Give it a whirl. Now number three, you have a parallelogram again. A quadrilateral with two pairs of parallel sides with four right angles. And it talks about the area of 32 square units. Now if you think about that for a minute, some of you thought right away four right angles and you thought about Mr. Square, but is 32 a square number? So I don't think that will work. And on number four, you have a parallelogram that is not a rectangle with an area of 32 square units. So do your best on these 32 square units, parallelogram, not a rectangle, and it has an area of 32 square units. Um, if you get stuck, don't hesitate to call. Google, Hangout, whichever you prefer. Do it on your Bridges book if you have it. If you don't have the Bridges book, um, I'll try to put it on Seesaw and you can work your things out on there. I really appreciated the flexibility of that. Um, keep up with your multiplication and division. Do the best you can. We'll be moving on to parallelograms next. Have a good day.